Welcome back. It's been 26 years since the tragic murder of legendary Latina singer Selena Quintanilla Perez. But she's, of course, celebrated and adored by her music fans and all for her enduring style and what she brought to the Tejano music scene. And the hit Netflix series, Selena, which scored 25 million views within its first month, has led a whole new generation to her story. And our next guest, while juggling a four-year-old child, has also made an indelible imprint on Hollywood as Selena. Christian Serratas bravely embraces the role, fitting perfectly into Selena's rhinestone-studded outfits, but more important, capturing the spirit of this beautiful Queen of Tejano. This is my last tour with the band. How it was. And either this next record is a huge hit and I'm done with this band forever or it's a huge flop and I've just ruined it for everybody. I just feel like everything that was is just coming to an end. Joining us from Atlanta, Georgia, please welcome Selena star Christian Serratos. Congratulations on the success of this series. You know, I, I was a reporter in Dallas, Fort Worth, and I was a part of the team they sent down to cover the death of Selena. And I watched in real time, Christian, the impact of and the loss. And here you are now exposing a whole new generation to really what she meant. And now you're in the second season doing it. Does it still feel surreal at all? Yeah, the whole experience feels very surreal. I grew up really admiring Selena and listening to her music and feeling that closeness with her that so many others felt. So to be given the opportunity to to honor her in this way by getting to um, play her is just really kind of unbelievable for me. You know, it's interesting. You were around the age of your daughter when Selena passed away, around four or five, as I understand. Yeah, I think you're right. I was really little. Yeah, you were about her age. And I read in the article that you just did uh, regarding motherhood, Elle magazine, you said that you always knew you wanted to be a mom. Even things like tantrums don't bother you because you knew what you signed up for. We're approaching Mother's Day. You look at that is an admirable quote that even the tantrums don't bother you. Yeah. And, you know, I'm really lucky. I have I have one kid. Um, you know, it could be a lot harder. And, and she doesn't throw tantrums a lot, but even when she does, I think I think my husband probably doesn't do as well with them. Like, he panics a little bit. Like, I want my little girl to have everything. How can I help? Um, and he gets a little panicked. But me, I'm like, eh, it's... She's, it rolls yeah. off your back. Now, are you ready for her one day to see your performance as Selena? I don't, I'm assuming maybe she hasn't already, but she's in the house. But are you ready for her to see, man, that's Mama's legacy. Mama brought this amazing woman's story to TV. Yeah, that was a really big motivation for me. You know, um, first, me being such a Selena fan, I wanted to honor her. I wanted to do her justice. I wanted to make myself proud, but also her family was was involved and I wanted them to be pleased with what I did. And I just wanted to be respectful. I wanted the fans to be so happy because I'm one of them. I yeah. am a fan. I'm a Selena fan. I just wanted to um, honor her story. But I also wanted my daughter to see mommy work really, really hard um, to tell this woman's story because she, you know, paved the way for women like me and my daughter. When you say do right by Selena, how do you define that? Because obviously she would have been 50 and there have been celebrations and, and memorials and things dedicated to her. I mean, launching J-Lo's career, for example, just so many beautiful things that you're connected to. But when you say you wanted to do right by her, how do you define that? The only thing I could do is, is and I always go back to this, is just be honest in my portrayal of her. You know, the thing that made her such an icon is, you know, that she's an incredible businesswoman, that she's like a beast on stage, and that her music and her voice is, you know, undeniable. But also, she was just full of such joy and such life, and she was funny, and she was clever, and she was smart. She was just so many things. And um, I just had to really try my hardest to bring that light, yeah. that joyfulness back, you know? Well, um, I think that's the brilliant part of your performance. I mean, it, the reality is it is such a heartbreaking story, but yet you show the light, you show the joy 
you know, the total sum of her life is not the sad ending. It is the many, many beautiful pages from her beauty to, to again, her, her unforgettable voice that you capture there. Let's take a look. you uh it, it you know this uh this tragic ending is is terrible um but our this story and this show and her, her i mean everything is about how wonderful she was she was an incredible sister and daughter and wife and and we just really wanted to highlight that you know and you in, in one at least for me you always wonder what her life would be like today would she be a mom like the two of us trying to juggle all of those things and and trying to you know excel professionally while also holding down the front as a mom at home you you, you can't help but to wonder what her life would be like today what do you think it would be you know family was really really important to her and i think i think she would be um a mother. I think she wanted that, and I, I would have loved for her to have that. Um, yeah. And what about you? What are you doing to celebrate Mother's Day this weekend? Anything special? Um, no. I mean, uh, <laughs> I totally <laughs> understand. I feel like every day is Mother's Day. I'm like, give me my flowers now. I don't need it on the, the one day. Yeah. No, they spoil me. I get it all the time. Oh. So just, it's going to be like any other day. We're just going to eat good food mm. and play and you know my baby loves her siesta so we'll probably just lay in bed <laughs> TV, and it'll be great it'll be a great day <laughs> i like it i like a chill mother's day well congratulations on all the success and it is great to see the accolades roll in for this stellar performance thank you so much thank you of course and selena part two is now streaming on netflix